Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to interpret technical data. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Let's first understand what is data. So the word data is derived from the Latin language. It means anything that is given. According to Oxford Encyclopedic English Dictionary, Data are known facts or things used as a basis for inference or reckoning. This dictionary is also state that even though data is the plural form of datum, it is often treated as a singular collective noun. Data can be presented by means of tables, charts and graphs. This supplement the information presented through words. They are able to represent broad trends in a clear and concise manner. Moreover, maps, Charts, graphs, and tables have a great deal of visual appeal. Hence, they allow a quick understanding of the basic facts. Since they illustrate concurrent trends, they also help to predict possible future occurrences. When multiple factors are represented together, they help in bringing about a comparative analysis. Now let's look at what is data interpretation. So data interpretation is the process of reviewing data through some predefined processes which will help assign some meaning to the data and arrive at a relevant conclusion. It involves taking the result of data analysis, making inferences on the relations studied, and using them to conclude. Therefore, before one can talk about interpreting data, they need to be analyzed first. What then is data analysis? So data analysis is the process of ordering, categorizing, manipulating, and summarizing data to obtain answers to research questions. It is usually the first step taken towards data interpretation. It is evident that the interpretation of data is very important and as such needs to be done properly. Therefore, researchers have identified some data interpretation methods to aid this process. So let's look at them. So what are data interpretation methods? Data interpretation methods are how analysts help people make sense of numerical data that has been collected, analyzed and presented. Data when collected in raw form may be difficult for the layman to understand, which is why analysts need to break down the information gathered so that others can make sense of it. For example, when founders are pitching to potential investors, they must interpret data, for example, market size, growth rate, etc. for better understanding. Therefore, there are two main methods in which this can be done namely the first being quantitative method and second is the qualitative method. So now let's look at the qualitative data interpretation method. The qualitative data interpretation method is used to analyze qualitative data which is also known as categorical data and this method uses texts rather than numbers or patterns to describe data. Qualitative data is usually gathered using a wide variety of person-to-person -person techniques which may be difficult to analyze compared to the quantitative research method. So unlike the quantitative data which can be analyzed directly after it has been collected and sorted, qualitative data needs to first be coded into numbers before it can be analyzed. This is because texts are usually cumbersome and will take more time and result in a lot of errors if analyzed in their original state. So coding done by the analyst should also be documented so that it can be reused by others and also analyzed. So there are two main types of qualitative data namely first being the nominal and the second being the ordinal data. And these two data types are both interpreted using the same method. But ordinal data interpretation is quite easier than that of nominal data. So in most cases ordinal data is usually labeled with numbers during the process of data collection and coding may not be required. So this is different from nominal data that still needs to be coded for proper interpretation. Then second we have quantitative data interpretation method. The quantitative data interpretation method is used to analyze quantitative data which is also known as numerical data. This data type contains numbers and is therefore analyzed with the use of numbers and no text. So quantitative data are of two main types, namely first is discrete and second is continuous data. So continuous data is further divided into interval data and then ratio data with all the data types being numeric. So due to its natural existence as a number, 
Analysts do not need to employ the coding technique on quantitative data before it is analyzed. The process of analyzing quantitative data involves statistical modeling techniques such as standard deviation, mean, and median. So now let's look at some of the statistical methods used in analyzing quantitative data. So first is mean. The mean is a numerical average for a set of data and is calculated by dividing the sum of the values by the number of values in a data set. It is used to get an estimate of a large population from the data set obtained from a sample of the population. So for example, online job boards in the US use the data collected from a group of registered users to estimate the salary paid to people of a particular profession. The estimate is usually made using the average salary submitted on the platform for each profession. Then second we have standard deviation. This technique is used to measure how well the responses align with or deviates from the mean. It describes the degree of consistency within the responses. Together with the mean, it provides insight into data sets. So in the job board example highlighted above, if the average salary of writers in the US is 20,000 per annum and the standard deviation is 5.0, so we can easily deduce that the salaries for the professionals are far away from each other. And this will birth other questions like why the salaries deviate from each other that much. So with this question, we may conclude that the sample contains people with few years of experience which translates to a lower salary and people with many years of experience translating to a higher salary. So, however, it does not contain people with mid-level experience. Then last we have frequency distribution. This technique is used to assess the demography of the respondents or the number of times a particular response appears in research. It is extremely keen on determining the degree of intersection between data points. And we also have some other interpretation processes of quantitative data which includes first regression analysis, second cohort analysis and third is predictive and prescriptive analysis. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this English lesson series and learned a lot. So you can continue studying with me by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to watch my upcoming videos on data interpretation. Thank you for watching.